Today, we are going to introduce Alfred Korzybski, a great Polish-American independent scholar who introduced his theory on abstraction and his rule of thumb in non-allness in science. Korzybski maintained that humans are limited in what they know by, one, the structure of their nervous systems, and two, the structure of their languages. Humans cannot experience the world directly, but only through their abstractions, nonverbal impressions derived from the nervous system, and verbal indicators expressed and derived from language. These sometimes mislead us about what is the case. Our understanding sometimes lacks similarity of structure with what is actually happening. An example to support this theory would be talking about the sky is blue. The sky as we know it, the blueness is inherent in it. There could be no other to structure it. Thus saying that the sky is blue erases the role of the observer. The way that we say is makes declaration with a fact that cannot be doubt. Saying the sky is blue may be natural in the English language, but it's not natural to nature. It is not scientific either. You can never say that the sky is blue because the shade of blue you are perceiving is not necessarily the same shade that the other person sees. We only say that the sky is blue because we agree on the general idea of blue. Therefore, saying that the sky is blue is only based on one's personal experience. It is more scientific when it's worded, the sky is blue to me, rather than just saying, the sky is blue. Same case goes for someone who is colorblind. They will never understand the meaning of blue if they cannot perceive the color blue. Thus, we can never say something is something. This is called the is of identity, where it refers specifically to the is in subject predicate statements of facts, such as the sky is blue. This is when Korzybski introduced the idea of non-allness. When Korzybski says the sky is blue, it is applying to all. However, it may not apply to all. It applies to most people, but not all. He establishes a general rule of science in this general semantics theory. You can never state all of everything. There is no all of anything except arguably the entire universe as a whole. Nothing is ever all because nothing is finished. Sometimes non-allness also represents you can never present what everyone is seeing because everyone's perspectives are different. There will always be something hidden. 